Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 16, Nurturing, Part 2. In today's episode, we set out to add a fourth couplet to what we are calling our duck sestet. And that came from our work on the turtle sestet and our work on the combined rug and site themes, source material. And we were extracting lines and putting them into what we called the duck sestet. And today we decided to add two more lines and turn it into an octet, which is what we did. And we'll play that for you. The second thing we did is we tried some timbres with the combined theme score. We felt that um, we verified that the combined theme score, even when we added another line to it to get a couplet out of it to push over into the duck octet, the combined theme score we still feel is a pleasing standalone composition. And we also in today's episode reviewed and showed you some music that we had looked at and been inspired by. Uh, this piece of music, Hilary Hahn plays the Bach Violin Concerto. Uh, is where she's playing the violin with her whole body. We showed how her entire body moves when she plays the violin. Uh, in this one, an uh, eight-piece orchestra, the musicians are looking and talking to each other with their eyes and expressions, and their instruments are talking to each other. And we like that a lot. And in this one, we have treble recorder duets playing way up in the higher register and being solidly accompanied by the strings, including violoncellos, and they're trading parts between the lyrics and the refrains of this gorgeous song. So we were mightily inspired by that. So inspired that we actually tried uh, some new timbres that over here. And um, <clears throat> We decided that we like that new timbre. And what we've come up with so far is to use a viola. So far, we're not having any luck with the recorders. The recorders don't fit in this piece. And we said, well, we can't duplicate that YouTube piece of music. Let's just design from listening and work with what we've got. So um, this is what the viola and the pian viola playing what we call the melodic and the piano playing the cadences sound like we're soloing them. They're soloing them there. And here's what we get. So we liked how that sounded together. And we'll continue some more. Now, let's go ahead and play the expanded uh, eight couplet doc, doc, duck octet for you. And then we'll do our final wrap up. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time. Um, technically, we could combine the six line duck and the eight line, six line turtle and the eight line duck and have a 14 lines bayous on it. 
um, we want to continue trying timbres and start some new sketches. And we had an insight from reading one of our all-time favorite book series where an artist was doing preliminary sketches of a subject to set up a design that would be appropriate for doing a portrait. And um, a series of quick rough sketches to obtain a sense of what is accurate and pleasing. And we realized, aha, that's what we've been doing with these snippets that we've been creating and scores and reworked scores and then ending up, we hope, on final scores. And we kind of drew a little picture of that, bop, 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 ending up in a kind of a final portrait there. So um, so we're, we're inspired to start some new sketches. You know, we did all that work in a couple streams ago to get the, the melody scale figures enumerated. Let's do some fast treble in there. Let's see if a recorder sounds pretty good on that. I bet it would. Um, and then uh, let's see if we can do some arpeggiation of the cadences. It's kind of those discordant cadences don't sound good altogether except with a very soft piano. And, and if we're going to try to put some other some strings in there, they're going to have to be pulled out so they don't play on top of each other. We're going to need horizontal harmony rather than vertical harmony for that to come out. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you for your interest and curiosity. Thank you for your support. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.